Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I want to show you some upgrades. Uh, I'm a Star Trek fan, film stuff. Um, there's a new one in the works. I'm still doing the scripts for it. Of course, I do the cast list, and then I do the scripts, then I do the voices, then I do the avatars and the sets. Then I, then I start shooting the footage, so I'm still got a ways to go. Uh, this is a new uniform from the mail. This is Captain's uniform. I, I want them to look a little snazzier than uh, they were. They're kind of looking a little sad there. Uh, this is experimental. I might still go, wind up going back to the other ones. We'll have to wait and see, but I don't think so. So that's the Captain Miles Sheridan. Uh, new one will be called the Circle Makers. All right, and we'll take you to the space station. I'm going to use this for Starbase from this point on. Hang on, as you can see, my uh, Constitution class starship fits right in the bay. This is actually a scale model of a Constitution class starship, specifically the Intrepid. And like I said, this used to be Mars Station. I'm just going to use it for uh, Star Race. It has everything that I need. I don't have to really upgrade anything if I don't want to. And take you down to the. Uh, Operations Center. There's all sorts of stuff here. I'm not going to go over this in detail. But this will be a new star base uh, and command center and that type of thing. I've actually been using it anyway. But I got more to show you. Uh, you've seen the unif male uniform. Now let's take a look at the female uniform. I re redid the tops. To match the skirt. Skirt length remains the same. It's slightly longer than it was in the original series on uh, in live action. The skirts are slightly longer, not significantly longer. And that jacket can be opened up if I want to open up some. So the jacket's actually adjustable, well, I don't think I'll be doing that uh, in the series. It's not really a series, but in the next Star Trek. Now I'm going to move us to uh, the primary Star Trek set, where I do all the resin, and show you something a little different. Okay, this is a new bridge. Uh... I might have to adjust the uh, floor. Hang on. That shouldn't be like that. There. Anyway, uh, this is a new bridge. It's designed somewhat to look like TOS, but uh, it's really my own design. I have more animated displays than TOS ever had, and it's much clearer, much prettier design, I think. And with less clutter, and doesn't have that asinine noise. That actually, all that noise would be considered a distraction on a real ship. I mean, you know, on a uh, naval ship, obviously, since this is science fiction. These pictures up there do change. I have them set to cycle at different speeds so they don't all change at once and uh, the navigator and the helmsman have these animated displays here that's what you would really expect on a real ship for the simple reason that you, know, you want that information right there, so 
you can do your work. You don't see that in a typical TOS bridge. Uh, captain's chair, that's actually from something else. Uh, but uh, this this design narrowly won out, won out over another one. So I decided to uh, keep it and... You know, the captain has his or her whatever uh, heads up display right there. You can see that. So I think this is a better, cleaner TOS bridge than the others. It doesn't have all the features, but I like the design better. I can change the alert stuff right there. So now we're going to take a look at the new engineering section. Okay, and this is the new engineering section. See, I wanted this stuff so it was all push-button resin, so I didn't have to keep fooling around with things all the time. Resin and re-resin and just one button. The engine uh, section you see in the uh, background there, uh, that was actually designed, I bought that on uh, Second Life Marketplace. I didn't design that. I thought it wouldn't be that hard. And you have the various components. You have your uh, dilithium chamber right there. And workstations. I'm going to have to add something. <laughs> this is not probably too uh, tall, actually. I'll deal with that later. I'm never going to use it anyway. And up here, we have the matter antimatter integrator. Some computer stuff. And more computer stuff. And that's about it. That's some new changes. I hope that's, you know, a more attractive set than what I've seen before. A lot of these sets are just having... The TOS bridges are okay, but... You know, they got half a million chairs around there. I really don't need them. And the displays aren't clear. The... If you're on a modern uh, ship, Combat Information Central, you'd have these big fancy computer display displays that you'd read and, you know, do this, do that, so, do something else. And I wanted to get that bridge to be more along that line rather than... Uh, it's just being something, a flat screen that they're looking at and nothing is happening. You know, a blank wall or whatever. So, that's about it. Uh, the next one, like I said, will be called the Circle Makers. Circle Makers, and you can pretty much figure out itself what that means, what that references. That's about it. I'm our thanks to Mars and you know that'll be a while, but there will be another one that I'm working on right now. Thanks for watching.